So what are we to make of the messages coming from the government? Is it pulling back from its expensive commitment to the landmark scheme? The minister responsible for the NDIS, Senator Mitch Fifield, was in Melbourne today making a speech about the future costs of aged care in Australia and the need for more reform as the population ages. I spoke to him a little earlier. Mitch Fifield, welcome to 7.30. Good to be with you. Now, the Treasurer said this morning, and he's repeated it a couple of times during the day, that if we don't get on top of the proper management of the National Disability Insurance Scheme, it could end up as big a farce as the Pink Bats programme. What is the comparison between the NDIS and Pink Bats? Well, we're determined to implement the NDIS in full, uh, but it's important to have an honest and open assessment of the foundations of the scheme. Are you looking at an increase, though, in the contribution to that care? For example, looking to leverage the assets that aged homeowners have locked up in their houses? Look, uh, we're, we're not, uh, at this point in time, looking to do um, anything different uh, to, uh, to what has been legislated. Now, you, you said today, and I was quite surprised to learn this, actually, that only 5% of people in aged care are actually in residential facilities. The rest of them are being cared for at home. You said that the result of these changes will mean that more of that burden falls into the at-home sector, but the carers in that sector say they're doing their absolute mi maximum, they're overwhelmed, they can't do any more. How can you change that? I think uh, what we know of is, is low support residential care will slowly disappear uh, and the bulk of support will be uh, in the home. At, at the same time, the, the numbers of packages, as they're described, that are, that are available to help people in the home are capped. Are you going to have to lift that cap to make more of them available as the numbers increase? as we know they're going to. Well, we've announced uh, a new um, aged care funding round. Uh, applications will open for that in May. There's, is... also, there's also going to have to be a huge increase in the workforce in this particular area. Now, I know Labor put money aside to increase the wages. You've put that money back into a pool. What, what are you actually doing now to draw more people into the workforce? The turnover is something like 40% at the moment. That's not sustainable. Between now and 2050, there, there will need to be a doubling of the workforce in the aged care sector. Uh, the workforce numbers will go to something north of uh, 870,000 people. But we, we need to have a strategy. You say you need a strategy. What is your strategy? You're the minister now. Um, we need to uh, look at ways to make uh, working in the social services area uh, incredibly attractive. But I think we've also got to recognise that uh, for the majority of people uh, in the aged care sector and in the disability sector, uh, they, they do this work because when they wake up in the morning, uh, they want to know that they're going to be making a difference to, to someone's life. Uh, yes, quality uh, of a workplace uh, is important, but it's not the only factor, and neither is pay. And neither is pay. And neither is pay.